everybody late start again the gremlins have struck again woke up to a trailer tire flat across the Yellowstone here in Livingston Montana can you see it I didn't think so man the smoke is getting heavy and also dilemma when we get to the other side when we get into Washington it appears that we will not will jump on highway 2 it looks like or whatever and head over towards Davenport uh, interstate 90 is closed due to fires around I believe it's I think they call it Medicine Lake or something to that effect so I guess trees were falling down on the roadways so Interstate 90 currently we'll see how it is in about five hours or six hours when we get over there on that side but it'll be another late day so it's the trucking thing all right everyone on that God bless love you guys Never, never a dull moment, as they would say.
pretty smoky out here. We're sitting here in Ritzville. Sitting here in our loves. Interstate 90 ended up being open by the time I got there, but you can still see the smoldering smoke and everything. So, uh, I think that's where a lot of this smoke is coming from. So, but we're done. We're parked. We're good to go. Uh, yes, because of our flat tire this morning, we'll be about two hours behind. I normally get there at 7 in the morning, so we're looking at 9 in the morning. So, But if I can get uh, both Vancouver and Seattle done, it'll be a wash. So it'll be a bit of a challenge, but I think we'll get her done. Uh, but we're going to roll this up. I'm exhausted. Um, sitting around this morning just kind of, I don't know, for me... I do better if I just work at a breakneck speed and then I'm exhausted at the end of the day, which that's the way it was back in my construction days. Um, but when you just sit around, you just kind of, I don't know, your body just gets lethargic or something. I don't know. For me, it just, I don't do good with it. I mean, I'm okay sitting for a little bit, but after last week sitting in that dock forever down in Grand Island, Nebraska. Oy, oy, oy. So, but anyway, let's pray for no no flat tires tomorrow. We did our post trip. There's no flat tires. And what it ended up being, to my knowledge, because there was, there was nothing wrong with the tire. But those trailer tires have... Um, well, let me see if I can show you guys one. It's got a valve that connects the two tires together. These here. And to my knowledge, what I think what ended up happening is one of these little fittings right here was loose. And it wasn't tight on there. I see you got another one that goes up inside here to the back. Well, I think what happened is, is this loosened up some, um, but it caused the, um, I think it loosened up just enough to leave the valve core just leaking because there was nothing wrong with the tire. There was, it, it's holding air right now. And all they did is, had to reset the bead. Didn't even have to break lug nuts or nothing. So, yeah. One of those things that you just kind of miss on a... You don't think to look at those on pre-trip, but... You do and you do... Well, you, you touch them, but they feel tight, but... Oh, well. It is what it is, but it got fixed, so cost us two hours on the road, so but we're gonna roll it up. We're gonna get in, we're gonna have some din din, and we'll see if we can't make we'll get at least Vancouver done. Let's pray for Seattle. And on that, God bless. Love you guys. Lord willing, I'll see y'all tomorrow.